What remains of Edith Finch makes you feel things that you probably are not expecting to feel during your playthrough of a video game. The first thing I should tell you is that I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. This title bases the entire narrative between a magical world and the realism of death and tells the incredibly tragic story of the Finch family and its multiple generations in a peculiar and surprising way. Seem a little hard to believe. I don't believe in ghosts. I was caught completely off guard after venturing into creating a list where I allowed myself to order a good portion of my backlog. In this way, I found what remains of Edit Finch acquired in some promotion and I only regret not having played it earlier. During the two hours it took me to finish, the fascination behind a tragic story told in the first person led me on the verge of a choke of emotion. In an instant I was laughing because of a motor experience of clicking the buttons to print certain movements, the next moment the perception of the finite moment to which the story was leading me left me completely devastated. The player is guided through a stunning home of the Finch family, built to give the illusion of a labyrinth. In part, it reminded me of Disney movie Encanto, where each member of the family was entitled to a room with the door alluding to their taste, power or dream. The same thing happens here, but the door will often not be the entry point to the character's story, thus leaving it up to the player to find the entry point, usually through a secret passage presented by the charm and imagination of a book that unfolds into figures and small challenges. While exploring the house, the last member of the Finch family, Edith, tells the little stories of the house and her family and how amazing all the experiences were until they finally came to a end. All worlds are portrayed differently, with mini-games challenges tied to the circumstances, which continually suppress my expectations and which ultimately engage the player in such a way that it doesn't take much to feel completely immersed in the experience. It's kinda difficult to point a game genre to this title, but perhaps the most accurate one will be Atmospheric Walking Simulator. Even so, the fact that one moment you have the experience of controlling an animal and the next moment you will have double experience of controlling a character with your left hand, while cutting fish for instance with the simple movement of the mouse with the other hand, leaves any kind of game genre tags completely open. Unfortunately, its end leaves many questions open. I was expecting to get punched in the stomach and start crying like the winter rains, but that wasn't the case. Still. It doesn't invalidate all the time spent learning more about each element of this family. Even the protagonist, Edith. If you enjoyed this video review, please consider to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share to friends, and if you played or if you never played this game, just let me know in the comments. Bye bye, thanks for watching.